no issues again. First bit of news is actually my search. I've been hunting for somebody to uh, kind of, uh, you know, we'll get to business, we'll get to business. I'm hunting for somebody to take over the reins of the day-to-day -day operation still. I think, I'm, I'm thinking I might have found the guy, but I'm not 100% sure yet, so I'm not going to lock him down tonight. So I am dual duty it here tonight. Double duty. That leads me to the second bit of news. And that revolves around my lovely little uh, strap here. And I, I, I see we had some keen eyes in the crowd here tonight. So uh, the, uh, the offices have pulled together and have commissioned a, a, a new piece. And that is going to be issued out here tonight, this way. Whoa! Whoa! Here's our new Tucson City title right here. I want the old one. Hey, it's a nice piece. It's gonna hang on my wall if I can. It's so heavy, it's probably gonna rip my wall down or something. It's a heavy belt. It's a very heavy belt, folks. I accidentally hit a guy and knocked him out with a sucker. It's that heavy. Ugh. And now, Thomas, you can take this as well. Yeah, Thomas, take the belt. Do your job. Since I need to be able to kind of keep my focus for the whole event, and since I'm still in charge, I want to get my wrestling out of the way. How's about? I defend that Tucson City title that you guys just saw right there. It's beautiful. Right now. That beautiful new title. Yeah. All right. Hey, I'm going to kick this mic over to these gentlemen then. And uh, I believe there was a opponent picked out for me. All right, let's do it. All right. Oh, God, not this ref. This ref sucks. Ref, come on. Ref, you need to come to Tucson City. It's the end of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, our opening contest is scheduled for one fall with a 15 minute time limit and it is for the HIW Tucson City Championship. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action will be senior official Sean Rankin. Hey, you Introducing first the challenger from the Quaychon Reservation, weighing in at 225 pounds, Joseph Black Cloud. Hey. 
And his opponent in the opposite corner, from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 175 pounds, he is the current reigning and defending High Impact Wrestling Tucson City Champion, Mr. H.I.W. Ricky Flash! One ball with a better minute time limit, the referee, Sean Reagan. And ladies and gentlemen, this match is underway, and, at, and this literally just got put together. Ricky Flash, he loves to defend that Tucson City title, and he loves, he wants to make it on the same level as the heavyweight championship, defending it at every show here, Jeff, man. Well, he's in charge. He can defend the title anytime he wants. Oh, well, he's got to be a final champion in the interest of being fair. Yeah, Mr. H.I.W. never afraid to defend his title, that shiny, beautiful new title H.I.W. just commissioned tonight. And working the arm to start the match here, and he had a little bit of an of a arm lock here, and now getting him back to a, to a kneeling position in the corner. We can see what's happening. Let me see. Hey, Bob. And climbing out of the corner with a nice divorce court, and... Going up with the Fujiwara armbar, Sean Reagan in perfect position to make the make the decision here. Now, 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 Bug, you know what's nice about that that new Tucson City belt? What's that? Heavy J, you know, he needs a belt because of, oh, we almost he needs had a, a belt because here. you know his pants are so big. What the he hell? Use that belt, oh, you, know, okay. you know, to put. He had a bit for you know, five seconds. So, so does, so does that explain your presence your presence here? I mean, you're kind of scouting for. Um, you're scouting Ricky hey. Flash, or or maybe Joseph Blackfell hey, may take the I'm title. A, I'm, a, I'm a manager. I scout talent. That's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Oh. You shut up and let him scout. Yeah. And now it looks like he's got the Cobra Clutch right here. Perfect positioning. Referee Sean Rankin right there, make, making sure there's no choking involved. And and he's, he's got the leg great bomb right into a Russian leg sweep. Russian leg sweep. And right into the Jew to the Tommy. Right in, great set sequence of moves right there, Jeff, man. Yeah, nice work here. Look, the referee checking to see if the challenger, Joseph Blackcloud, wants to submit. He's trying to get his foot on the ropes. He can't make it. No, no, no. I'm telling you right now, I know Joseph Blackcloud. He's not, he's not going to quit. He's not going to submit. Okay. Reversal and a two count for the challenger. Nice work rolling that arm bar over into a pinning predicament for the yeah. champion. And a great drop kick right there. I mean, Joseph Blackhound trying to get back into the match here, but, oh but, that, but the cumulative oh. effects of that arm work, he can't even get, he can't even get balanced and try to formulate the game plan here, man. Uh, well, you know, Ricky Flash, you know, he brings it every time he's in that ring. He's trying to hyperextend that arm even further with those vicious kicks. Right up. Right at the point where the joint goes there. A snap mirror and a kick to the vertebrae off the rope and a great drop kick. Denver oh, flips him inside, inside out. I'm telling you, he's tough. Joseph Black Tom is very, very tough. Oh, but it's not going to be an easy match. But Ricky Flash has finished off many people with this, with this move right here. Off the top rope and it got him, got him in a position. And drops the elbow right into the sternum. Shoulders are down. Just a near fall there for the champion. Close, yeah. but no cigar. Yeah, don't don't underestimate Joseph Blackcloud. You might remember he wrestled in that four-way death match last month here at the Midtown Tavern. And now Joseph Blackcloud, he takes it. The fan is going to stick like takedown and just a hyper extending the fire Ricky Flash. Flash in big trouble down on the mat. This is a great opportunity for Black Cloud. Looks like he's, he's got him in an Indian death block right now. Uh, you know, if this is a sound strategy on the part of Joseph Black Cloud, we talk about the many years that Ricky Flash has had. One thing that happens when you've been in this wrestling business for over 20 years, the first thing that starts to go is your, go is your legs. And that's what he's working on right now. And, and I don't know, I don't know how smart this are is. Saying, he's are you saying that Ricky Flash is, you know, uh, maybe, maybe not what he's cracked up to be? There's some gray in that beard, Mr. Bennett. There is some gray in that beard. Told you to pull his hair, you dumbass. Drops the leg right across the sternum. That was weak, dude. Come on. 
Both men down, One, two, he gets three. the cover. One, two, go. He didn't have much on that cover. And um, if he would have used both arms, but again, that arm work up from earlier. Hey, right, right, whatever right. counts, if you just put his finger on him. Hey, hey. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. And we help him to run to camp, right? Let's go! Kick to his knee. Yeah, Black Cloud continues to work on the legs of the champion, trying to take away his vertical base. A great strategy for the challenger. So now just throttling him. Sean Rankin is going to make the count. He's going to use every single second of that five count before he has to break up. Bradley's got till five. Leave him alone. Ricky. Ricky's looking like he's having a hard day at the office. He's going to have to. He's going to have to. Make something. Oh, what in the? Yeah. There we go. Oh, and, oh, and, a, oh, and a Boston crab. Boston crab. Yeah. Submission yeah. hold applied here by the challenger. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. uh, no, no, no. Oh, oh. Oh. He said no, and he just slid out of that, out of that submission hold. That might have been his best chance to win the match. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this is not how I expected this match to go, and I don't think it's how Ricky Flash thought it was going to go. Oh, my fans chopped. They were just exchanging blows right in the center of the ring, just daring each other. Who wants this most? Who really wants this? And I think Ricky Flash might have gotten the best of that one. The ref can hit harder than that. I can hit harder than that. Champion back That's to his boots, right. both men up. Oh, oh, super, super kick. kick. <laughs> the champ with authority. Uh, I don't know about that leg issue that you was talking about. Uh, <laughs> the leg looked good on that kick. Yeah, it sure did. And now look at the far leg right now. One, two, two. Oh. It just takes out. You know, when you've been committing as long as Ricky Flash has, Certain moves just come in, come by instinct. I mean, he was able to block out the, what was happening earlier with his legs, and, and that was a beautiful thrust kick. Yeah, I Another think. Another name for that is called muscle memory. There you go. I think Ricky Flash can do that kick in his sleep. And now a sweep right, right there by Joseph Black, and a knee right there in the most dangerous part, a knee right there in the temple. Yeah, running knee strike by the challenger. Both men down. In the case of a double count out, we've got to assume that Ricky Flash will hold his title. He automatically holds the title, yes, you're right. But uh, this is not how Ricky Flash wants to win or to lose the title. Yeah, I do not think he was expecting this kind of a performance from Joseph Blackloud, the challenger, comporting himself quite special today. Oh, shit, he can tell Yeah, I mean, think about it, he's getting a title shot. You go, you go, go. Go. It'll bring out the motivation in anyone. Did, did, you see, did you see that right there? He yeah. just snapped his arm back into place. Hard oh. struck in the corners. Another elbow from Joseph. Running in position, charging out of the corner with Joseph Blackwell. Land for the back elbow. Slumps to the canvas. Right in the center. It's not the lateral press. No. Not gonna be enough on this exchange. I thought we had a new champ right there. Yeah. Well, good count, ref. Please Ricky Flash might right lose his job there. as general manager and champion in one day. Oh gosh. Man. God, this ref sucks. I shudder to think what would happen to, to high impact wrestling at that point. Hey ref, you got to do Sun High, right. and then the U of A can do back. Both men back to their boots. The challenger firing those right hands at the champion. Ricky Flash can't even defend himself. Ricky's gonna have to dig deep on this one. He's gonna have to dig deep in this match. Got him up, he's got him up. He's got him up in the fireman's carry position. And Ricky Flash spikes him to the canvas. A death belly driver. He's got the cover. Two, one, two, and three. Ricky! Ladies and gentlemen, at seven minutes and 43 seconds of the contest, here winner by pinfall and still. The HIW Tucson City Champion, Mr. HIW Ricky Flash! Good job, Rip!